You did crazy, oh, you ain't on the payroll. Can't be hanging with the same bros. We don't even go to the same show. So please be quiet. I'm being polite. You did crazy, oh, you ain't on the payroll. Can't be hanging with the same bros. We don't even go to the same show. So please be quiet. I'm being polite. Hey, yo, you killed this one. Ice cubes up in my car. If it's nice, one pour it up. Hello guys and girls and welcome back. It's your boy Big John. The app's at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to listen to my music. So is all the relevant information I'll be speaking about in this video. And today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how you're going to be able to find some good setups on gold and just have a nice easy way of trading it with a very nice clean chart. A lot of people in my Discord channel, you know, they want me to be able to show them a lot of gold setups and things that are going to be happening on gold. But, you know, I'm thinking here's a way where you're going to be able to look at the charts you're going to see something very easy. You can even set alerts for what you're going to see and you should be able to make some type of pips on gold. So I hope you're going to like this one, guys and girls. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so you can see I'm on my chart at the moment. I am on Global Prime. It's just one of the brokers that I'm using on TradingView. If you'd like to get some coins towards your TradingView where you'll get your monthly payments discounted, please make sure you hit up the referral in the description below in YouTube. And what I'm going to be showing you today is I'm going to show you how easy you would be able to trade gold just using one indicator and then just waiting for price to get to where it needs to be. So what we're doing here is you can see that from my previous video, I did show everybody how to draw their support and resistance lines, all of these lines. So you'll see the video popping up here. So you wanna to go to the daily time frame to draw your support and resistance lines. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is be on a one hour time frame. Yep. Then what we're going to wanna to do is add a relative strength index, which is the RSI. We just wanna add this right here. And then once that's added to the chart, now here's where the source is. You want to change the time frame to a four hour time frame. So on a one hour chart, you're going to be able to see what the four hour chart is doing in terms of the relative strength index, which is the RSI. You can leave the length on 14, that's fine for now. But this is what you want to be doing because what this is going to do, it's going to show us when price is overbought and oversold on a four hour time frame, we're going to be able to gain entries on a one hour chart. You can also do this on a 15 minute time frame if you want to, as in you can gain entries, but you have to make sure your RSI tool is on the four hour time frame. And I've already marked up all the trades that were here. So you know how I explained the first time, I said you want to go to the beginning of the year to draw your support and resistance on the daily time frame, just to make sure that you've got enough support and resistance zones and key levels in the market. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're only buying and selling when the RSI, you can see right here, is out of the band. So that's out of the 70% and below you can see the 30% down at the bottom. Let me make sure I just show that to you so you can see. So this is when it's above 70%. Look on the right hand side of the screen right over here. It says 70% and down here it's 30. So when it's 70% you're looking for sales. When it's 30, you're looking for buyers. And we're keeping this as simple as that. So you can see the first trade that was here right away. The RSI was out here. You was able to get in this sell here. And what people might be saying is, what are we using for a confluence to gain entry into this trade? Of course, we can see that the RSI is overbought, oversold. It's out of the bands as well, which is the 70 and the 30. But how do we gain entry into this trade? Okay, you're waiting for the RSI to go back in to the band right here so as soon as it's gone back in on this candle is where you want to be gaining entry so then from there to the top you want to be put in on this trade being a sell you want to put a 250 pip stop loss and a 500 pip tp so it's 250 pips sl 258 and then the take profit was 500 so that gives you a one to two risk to reward ratio and that means that you are safe in this trade so you're moving two forward and going one back if you lose the trade so that's already giving you your risk management i've already explained to you how you can gain entry in this trade and i'm also giving you how you can look for the strategy to be appearing on your chart so when you gain entry into this trade you can see this one was a win so now when we go over to the next one here when price actually moved we can see right now that this one says b so anything that says w is a win anything that says b is a break even anything that says l is a loss so you can see why i'm saying this is a break even so when you got into the trade here because you can see the rsi is out of the 30 at the bottom of the screen now you would have been able to move up about 250 pips once price has moved 250 pips that means this trade is a one 
to one. So I would have put a break even. The best thing for you to do is put a break even. So if the trade does lose or doesn't go in your intended direction, then you do not lose the trade. It was a risk free trade. So this was a win. This was a break even. Now we can see here, here was another win. So look at the RSI at the bottom. You can see it's sticking out. Then it's gone back in. Then you was able to gain entry. You got 500 pips here. This was a win. You can see over here, this one gave you 250 pips, but didn't go all the way. So then it was a break even. Yeah, you can see here, this one didn't even go up to 250 pips when it gave you your entry. It just went straight down and then hit your stop loss. So that was a loss. This one was out of the band. You can see that now, once it came back in, it gave you your 500 pips, never hit your stop loss. This was a win. You can see this one here was a break even. So it's a break even because it only did 250 pips for the sell on the RSI, but then it never went 500 pips down so that was a break even you can see here this was a loss because this one didn't even go 250 pips it just went straight away you can see the entry was right there it just went straight away towards your stop loss so this trade here was a loss so then when we head over to here now before i even get over to this section over here this trade here and this is how i trade gold personally and how i teach people how to trade gold in the mentorship group if you'd like to get access to the mentorship group please just hit me up in the discord the link should be in the description below if you'd like to gain access onto that this is how i trade gold i would look for a long-term setup on gold so you won't catch me doing all of this buying and selling you can do it it's not a problem i've done it before i've given out these trades before but now i'm at a point where i've made enough off of gold where i can just take a position and hold my position for a month or two if i have to this is what i do when i trade gold i just hold my positions on gold because it's just easier for me less time consuming and i trade the currency pairs more than i trade gold so now you can see when price came up here again here was a win because the shark film was out of the water you see you would have gained entry into this trade 250 pip stop loss 500 pip TP, this was a win. So you can see straight away, this trade here was a fantastic trade. I actually gave this trade out to every single person in my general group section, which is called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You can see right over here, this one here was a loss because we were looking for a sell, but it went straight away to your stop loss. And we can see here, this one would have been a win because it never hit your stop loss from your entry. And then it went all the way back down. You can see this one over here would have been a win. You can see this one over here also would have been a win. You can see this would have been a break even. You can see this one here would have been a break even as well. And this one here is currently running and I have given out this indication of this sell in the general group in the discord this is what i do not every single day will i give out gold trades or say this is what gold's going to do in the general group in my vip i tell them every single week what i believe gold's going to do if we should be looking for any trades in it but at the same time you know once in a while i try to give out free trades on gold to the general group so just to make sure you're aware of what you have to do here i'm going to go through the confluences so we can make it easier for you you want to draw your daily support and resistance. You want to make sure you add a RSI to your chart on the one hour time frame and set it to a four hour RSI. Only take trades with RSI shark fin entries. Enter when you see the RSI is going back into the 70 level or the 30 level. Use a 250 pip stop loss and a 500 pip TP. And out of these trades that were taken from the beginning of the year to now, if you were just taking these trades, there was 16 trades altogether. That's one currently running right now, so it hasn't finished. The ones that did close, there were seven wins, five break evens, and three losses. So I've not only shown you how to back test and shown you how it works back testing this to the beginning of this year, I've also shown you how to make entries into these trades. I've given you a strategy as well, and I've even given you a one to five confluence list of how you can do this so you know it's your boy big john what can i say i'm giving the source out here and there's going to be a lot more just like i promised going into 2022 there's going to be a lot of information coming out make sure you do not miss this you are going to need to get this source i'm telling you i'm telling you like comment share subscribe if you'd like to get access to neo the indicator as well which works with currency pairs and it's doing amazing at the moment i've even got a new video coming out soon that will show how you can get telegram alerts with this indicator which is amazing then please do not forget to hit me up in the discord and we can get this popping so on that note i'm going to love and leave you guys peace